Howdy ho there, neighbors. Today we're gonna have a good time, you know, a family friendly time cooking some crack. Should be fun. So let's get into <laughs> Okay, wait. Well, let me just explain this game first. So this is a drug simulator. Basically, you're cooking. I don't know if you're cook. I don't know which drugs you're making. I, I think you start out as weed, and then you get deeper and deeper into, you know, the drug simulator. Basically, it's Breaking Bad, the simulator. We're in a basement. We're cooking shit. We're selling shit. Should be fun. Now, this is a very early version of the game, so I don't know how many episodes we're going to do of this. It depends on if you guys are liking it or not. Uh, I think it definitely is up my alley in terms of, you know, weird-ass indie games. Similar to something like Turmoil, so it should be fun. Uh, I'm actually going to do the tutorial in this because I have not touched this yet. Uh, I was told it was really good by my girlfriend, so it should be fun. I'm excited. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to cook some drugs today, guys. And let me just say, I don't condone the use of drugs or the cooking of drugs. This is just a game I'm playing. Okay, guys, so bear with me here. Okay, but we're in the tutorial right now. It doesn't really explain too much. I don't like that I can't zoom in. I'm immediately noticing that. Days are going by really quickly, so we should probably do this really quickly. Build a standby generator. So where do I want a standby genera generator? We have employee rooms, we have dealer rooms, we have grow boxes, tiny storages, break room, hire two employees, produce two green, sell two green. I like how they can't say weed. Okay, so let's click a room here. Let's click build room. Uh, I'm assuming the generator can go downstairs, so uh, this is plus 10 energy. Uh, we can buy it for 250. How much money do we have? We have 5,000 bucks right now, so we have lots of money to spend. So I'm going to buy that generator, because obviously we need the power to grow these things. Okay, so now that we have a generator, let's. what do we want to do beside this? Again, I don't want much in the bottom, so I think we'll do tiny storage, and that's this right here. A capacity of 30. Uh, yeah, we'll put that right there. Again, I don't really know the strategies of this just yet, so I don't know where the placement should be. We're just gonna kind of go in it and, uh, hope for the best here. So our whole bottom row is filled. I don't know what this thing is. Money storage. Okay, so we have our tiny storage by our money storage. I gotta assume that's good. Uh, we're gonna build a room here. Now, what else do we need? We have two check marks already. I think over here we should build our grow box. It's a tiny box for growing green. I wonder what green is. To start producing, you need to assign a worker to this room and make sure you have a dealer somewhere to sell it. So we need workers, we need dealers, you know, this is a strategy game. So let's build that. Uh, we have one grow box, that's all we need right now. I'm just gonna follow the tutorial here. Build dealer room. Now I think that should be upstairs. Obviously you want your, impl your customers to just come into the house as little as possible. You don't want them snooping around because they'll probably steal your product, you know, maybe live in the attic or something. I don't fucking know. So I need a dealer room. We're gonna buy that for 200 bucks. We'll put that right there. Uh, I guess I should have put that by the... I don't know where the entrance is. Oh, here's the door right here. This is very hard to see. The rooms are very small. But we do have a grow box room now. We need a break room for our employees. I guess I'll put that right by the weeds because that's where they're usually going to be. I'm assuming it means employee room? I don't think there's a break room in here. There's not much in this game yet. Oh, there is a break room. So what's an employee room? Is I'm confused. Is that where employees go to take breaks? Wouldn't that be a break room? I don't fucking know. Let's put the break room in for right now. Okay, now we'll build the employee room right by the break room because I gotta assume employees will be around that a lot, so there we go. Actually, let me see what that even means. Uh, maybe I can hire more people? Oh, that's where I hire people. Okay, I just explained it to myself. So we have to hire two employees now, so let's see. We have Nicole and Christine. I think these people are identical twins, guys, because they look oddly similar. <laughs> okay, well, their HPs are about the same, their damage is about the same, again, stamina about the same, production, and price, again, on par. So, maybe I should find more? I want to see if, you know, we have lots of money, yeah, let's find more. We have Andreas, or Andreas, I don't know how it's pronounced, or, and Carol again. Didn't we already have a Carol? I, I think she's done a little bit of a... Some drugs, because her eyes are fucking bugging out. This guy doesn't look too much better, let's be honest here. Again, stats are about the same, so I think we're just gonna hire both of these two. Oh, we have Anne as well. Where the fuck did Anne come from? God, all these employees look cracked out of their minds, so this is great. I'm just hiring crackheads to sell to crackheads. That's exactly what you want to do. Brilliant idea. Anyways, we got our two employees. It's so hard to see. Oh my god, the screen is so small. Okay, but our one employee is getting straight to work, uh, playing around in the green room. I gotta assume, yes, there's the package. Now, they will put the package into possibly the storage room, and then here comes my dealer to grab that package. It's all automated. I actually really like this so far. Uh, very simple little strategy game. Now, what else do we need to do? Produce two grain and sell two grain. Oh, okay, so I guess we just chill and let my employees do their work. All right, here comes another amazing green package for the next customer. Here you go, good sir. Take your little weeds and get the fuck out. 
Okay, oh, Jesus Christ, that is a face only a mother can love. Holy fuck. Okay, so that was the level. It took me three days. I sold two, and I killed zero people. I would hope I killed zero people. We didn't really have any issues yet. Let's go on to the next level, and, uh, yeah, it's, I assume it's gonna be getting much harder. So we have new, get a new transport at the service station, take over the crime scene, and sell one brown. What the fuck is a brown? Is that like shitty weed or is that like poop? I don't fucking know. I I'm just gonna say we're selling poop. So I'm assuming, yes, this is the crime scene. This is probably our competitor. And we gotta get him the fuck out of here because this is our turf, damn it. Oh, okay, what is this down here? Oh, I can drag. So we have a service station and that's where we gotta get our transport from. So maybe we should do... Well, I don't know if I want to do that first because I gotta go through the crime scene and I gotta assume... They're not gonna like me going through the crime scene, so maybe I should focus on selling one brown first. Uh, I don't know how to make brown, so that that, that 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 is our first goal. Okay, I can upgrade the grow box. Now, what does that do? Uh, chemical reactor and ventilation, or intensive production. Produce faster, but rest more due to fumes and physical activity. I just want to see something about brown. A brown, a brand new chemical reactor allows things to be done a bit faster. Again, this seems about more about speed than anything else. Comfortable conditions for employees. Vents remove fumes. Employees get tired much slower. Uh, those are, you know, appetizing, but I do have very little money right now, so I, I need to focus on that. Okay, brown's kind of confusing me right now, so I think we gotta wait for that. So we're gonna go over and take over the crime scene. Now, I don't really- is this my employee now? Yeah, this is Matthew. I don't, I don't remember hiring a Matthew. Did I just randomly get new employees? Alright, let's get him to go over here. Okay, so I figured out if I click the door entrance, I can go and attack. Now, I, I, I'm looking at this place, and there's only one guy in here. I have two employees. I think, okay, one's selling and one's free. Can I, can I actually choose both, though? All right, we're gonna select all and click attack here. Now, these guys should go over and uh, hopefully get rid of the uh, competition here. All right, so here goes my boys. They're, <laughs> they're actually in a creepy van, which is perfect for a drug dealer. I'm going into the enemy base. Oh God, this is, this is gonna get rough. I don't think I have any weapons, so I hope he doesn't have weapons. Okay, it's a fist fight. This is my town, scrub! Get the fuck out! There we go, I'm done. <laughs> Who says that when they die? I'm done! No, it, it doesn't happen that way. Okay, so now do I technically own this place now? Oh, I do! Okay, well, that's how you get a new drug place. You just kill the people who are already in there. So there, we've done that. That, that is a check mark. So now we go on to go over and... Oh, do we want to attack? Do we want to steal it? I, I thought I just- I just wanted to do a deal with them. I mean, we are drug dealers after all. We should have a shitload of money really quickly. But, uh, I guess we have to attack it. So once again, you know what, actually, before we do that, let's play this safe. Can I actually hire someone? Oh, yes, I can. And we got a lot more people here. Who do I trust? Okay, definitely not Brett. Brett looks like someone who would steal from me. Emilio! Oh, yeah, Emilio looks pretty serious about this, guys. Now, Sean is obviously the best in terms of stats, but I do- but do I want that? Because that's more expensive. I have 727 bucks right now, which isn't too bad. Uh, I think I'm- I'm gonna go for Emilio. I trust Emilio. Emilio looks serious, and he's relatively cheap, so that's good. We're gonna hire this guy. Uh, I don't know. Can I actually- oh, I can hire more. So, again, I don't want to go too high here. Uh, so we are going to hire Kim as well. Okay, so now I have four employees and two drug houses. That's great. We're, we're doing good. We're expanding already. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. Now, just in case, I'm going to select all here. I'm not worried about making as much money as quickly as possible. I'm going to bring all my employees over, and I'm going to make sure we kill everybody in the service station. All right, group of misfits. Here we go. Oh, my God. I love this little car. It just their their little fucking eyeballs are hilarious. Okay, we're going in, and uh, yes, this is going to be overrun probably pretty quickly. Oh, we're I, we're not even fighting the guy in the vehicle. Oh, he, he, is he trying to drive away on a, like a moped? Like what's going on here? Are we just ignoring that guy? I'm 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 really confused. Okay, but we got a new transport at the service station, as you can see on the left, so now we just gotta sell one brown. I'm assuming that's in here. We have a dope kitchen in there, so yes, I'm gonna bring some people over to this. Okay, so now we got four employees and two dope houses. Uh, this one, I think, yes, it has the dope kitchen. I'm assuming that's the brown. Does it actually say somewhere here? Production one... That looks red to me. I, I might be wrong, though. We'll find out. But we need some pe employees to go here, so if we hit move here... 
Okay, so we want obviously two in one and then two in the other. So I'm thinking Emilio and Kim can go cook the brown. And it looks like they're taking the older vehicle. And then we can make uh, the, the, the other two, which are Benjamin and Matthew, cook the green. So move here. And they should have... Is this, is this what we stole? A fucking moped, it looks like? Oh, no. Okay, so we do have another van. I, I, don't, I don't understand why we upgraded or take get new transport at service station. I thought that was that moped, but I guess not. Okay, but we obviously have customers waiting outside, so let's start cooking. I'm already cooking the... It looks like it's red. I'm not certain. It's got to be brown, though, right? But we are cooking, after all. We got employees in both rooms here. I love how my brown place... I gotta assume brown is a bigger drug, is the smaller apartment. Uh, it doesn't really matter, though. We can also upgrade all of these, by the way. I don't know if you noticed that. Uh, but a lot of these things you can upgrade uh, to make them better. I'm assuming we're gonna do that, but I don't have too much money just yet. So I just want to sell one brown for right now. Let's actually speed up time. I don't think I can bring over the customers. So there we go. Um... It looks like someone's transferring my brown. I don't even know what just happened there. Okay, well, we did it. It took eight days, but I got rid of the competition, got some new transportation, and actually got a new drug lab and sold some brown. So I gotta assume that's pretty good. Not too bad. Let's move on. Okay, here's the next one. We have to earn 2,000 money, capture bets building, capture casualty ward, capture useful place, and capture storage. What the fuck is a useful place? What, what does it have in here? It has Brett. Is, is Brett useful? Okay, there's seriously nothing in here besides Brett, so I gotta assume Brett is very useful. So this is our basement. We have the casualty ward over here. I guess we can capture that first. Do we have three employees this time? It looks like we do. I don't like that it resets every time. Now, there is the sandbox mode, so we might do that if you guys are liking this. Uh, but for right now, we're just gonna do these missions, because it is kind of fun, too. Okay, but let's send someone over here. Now, there's two employees in here, or w whatever's in the casualty ward. Uh, maybe some sick people. So we're gonna send out two just in case we might be killing some sick people. I feel a little bad about that, but you know what? Survival of the fittest, man. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And while they're going out there, I'm feeling pretty confident about taking the useful place with one employee, Margaret. Uh, I hope she's a, a strong woman. She does 4.9 damage, so that's pretty impressive. So let's cl uh, click her and click attack, and then we'll do two at one here. I'm a little worried about the uh, casualty ward over here. Maybe I should have got... Okay, no, we're totally fine. We did take over the casualty ward, and <laughs> they're actually using the casualty ward because they were damaged. So that obviously heals. That's good. We also killed Brett. I am dying. Yes, you are, Brett. I'm sorry about that, buddy. But let's bring her over to the casualty ward as well when these, when these guys heal up, because it is good to have healthy employees. Okay, so let's get Margaret to go to the casualty ward. I got my other two going back to our basement. Now, what else do we need to do? We've done uh, about half of it already. Capture bets building. So is that like gambling? Holy shit, there's a lot of things here. Uh, small pusher, storage one, parking place, storage three. Where the fuck's bet building? Fast food stand bets. So it's way over here. Uh, okay, so I, I, I really have to take over a lot of the town, really. So for right now, we do have to earn 2,000 money. I'm in the negative right now, so I gotta focus on earning that money. Let's bring Margaret back home. Oh, I, I keep forgetting. I just gotta click the door and then hit move here. So bring her home because we need to sell as much weed as we can. Oh, the useful place. Okay, I was looking for a dealer room over here. I, I noticed that there actually isn't one, and that's why we're not selling. I mean, look at how much green I got over here. I didn't realize they were transferring it over there. So I need to bring one of my employees over here. I'm gonna move Margaret over. I do like Margaret. I, I trust her, so we're gonna move her over and uh, get her selling some of this. Okay, so now that Margaret's over there, I gotta assume she'll just chill and wait for the druggies to come in. Looks like this guy's coming in, actually. Maybe not. Oh, he actually walked by. All right, anybody want some drugs? Do I have to, like, advertise it or something? All right, there we go. Looks like we got a customer. Good stuff. Now we are officially manufacturing and selling the weeds. Go us. Okay, one downside, though, is that we are selling the weeds, but we're spending more money throughout the day just paying our employees. So we're actually losing money. So I feel like I got to expand more. I need to capture the bets building. Where the fuck is the bets building again? Is it this way? Okay, it's not that way. But also, I'm seeing these storages. They actually got purple and different types of drugs. So I got to assume taking those out, too. Would be very important. So we have storage 2 right here. That's the next one we need to take. So I think I'm going to attack this. 
Uh, wait, what do we got in here? Is there anybody in here? It looks like, yeah, there's one guy in there, so I think we can just attack with one and we should be fine. I'm gonna bring my strongest guy, though, Gordon, out and, uh, attack. And honestly, Margaret has so much supply, I could stop producing and uh, just focus on progression here and still keep selling, which is perfect. So we are fighting the guy in here. Actually, a really fucking close fight. Uh, I'm going to get this guy over to the casualty ward so he can heal up. So Gordon, get over there, buddy. I honestly forgot Gordon's name. I feel bad about that because he did just take over storage two for me. But we'll heal him up and then we'll get him hopefully to take over. Well, I guess we could technically just pass through the fast food stand and go over to Bets. Okay, Gordon's all healed up. So I think, how many do we got in Bets? We got one guy in Bets. Gordon, I feel like you're strong enough to take this one as well. So we're going to attack that with Gordon and then just continue sailing like we have been. Now, I don't know how to transfer this purple stuff in storage too, now that we got it over to our uh, dealer place here. I'm, I'm not too worried about that right now. We'll focus on making money later. For right now, we gotta get Gordon to beat this guy. Oh, it's no Shit! That guy is strong. Okay. I'm an idiot. I thought Gordon lost. It was the other guy that lost. Okay, so we have taken over bets. There's. Did I just pick up money? I think I just picked up money. Okay, yeah, I did pick up money in here. There's tiny storage. What else is in here? Employee room. So, I don't really see the point of bets. Doesn't really explain much. But we do need storage one. That's on the other side. So, I'm just going to bring Gordon. Let's bring Gordon to storage two. Because I want to see if I can move some of this stuff. Okay, so I'm not sure how to transfer the purple. I feel like there needs to be a spot here. But that doesn't really make sense. Because I'm transferring my weed over to useful place. Just automatically, so I'm not really sure how I get Gordon to move this stuff. You, you can clear it, but it actually just deletes it. So, uh, I guess we'll learn that as we go throughout here. For right now, I'm gonna move him over to Small Pusher and attack this. That's the next thing we need to do, and I feel like it will be bit beneficial to take this place. Because after that, we have Storage 1 right beside it, and I feel like this is a dealer zone? Yeah, this is definitely a dealer zone, because this is one right in the middle here. So I should have two dealer so zones once I take over this one. And that should be relatively easy with Gordon, because he's a fucking beast, as you can see. Okay, and I just saw a purple show up. I don't know where it came from. I'm assuming my other girl might be transferring it from over store at Storage 2. Uh, but I am selling at both Small Pusher and Useful Place now. Not really sure how I'm transferring it to Small Pusher, but I am. So, I'm not gonna question it. So, we are selling a lot better now. We're at 525. That is good. Now, can I actually hire someone else now, please? That would be great. Okay, I actually can hire someone. I can either hire Lillian or Bonnie. Uh, again, I'm having a hard time paying my employees, so we're gonna hire one of the cheaper ones, I think, here. Uh, Lillian is only 300 as compared to 350, and she's not that much worse. So, yeah, we're gonna hire her and, uh, go cheap here. So now that we have Lillian, by the way, all these guys with little bubbles, that's people doing drugs. That's what happens when you do drugs, guys. Bubbles come out from your head, it's fucking crazy. Just kidding, again, I don't condone the use of drugs, let me just say that. Okay, so I'm gonna actually move the new girl, I forget her name already, uh, Lillian? Yeah, that's her. I'm gonna move her over to selling the purple, and then get Gordon to stop selling purple so we can go steal storage one. Gordon is my strongest unit, so therefore, obviously, that's the one I want to be attacking with. Okay, here comes the new girl, uh, she's coming in, now I don't actually know, does she just automatically do it if I move this guy? Let's find out. So we have to go attack this one. Uh, we're gonna go do that with Gordon. Gordon is selling, but if we choose for him to attack, I gotta assume the other girl will just start selling automatically. And this is the final place I need to actually capture. After this, it's all about earning money. So actually, Gordon wasn't healed. I forgot to heal him. Now we have a lot of storage, so I just need people running the drugs now. I don't know how to assign them to do that. Alright, so I've been watching for a while now, and the actual drugs seem to just kind of move on their own. Unless, like, some of the pedestrians are taking it and I'm not noticing. Because, like, these are actually going away, and they're randomly popping up over here. You can see I have green and purple over here, green and purple over here now. So I think that is all automated, and that's the most confusing thing to me. Because moving drugs is, like, the hardest part, right? You don't want to get caught. So I guess now we just do the waiting thing. Bad trip. Uh-oh, what happened here? Uh, oh shit, someone's fighting me? Motherfucker! Okay, yes, Margaret's having a smoke now. You need one after that. We're gonna send her over to the ER. Gordon's actually over here, so I think I'll just move Gordon back over and get him to start selling. 
Now we also got some money, and this room is basically always selling, so maybe I can actually upgrade this room. Uh, let me see what it actually does. So the dealer room, uh, CCTV allows to control more junkies at a time, uh, comfortable conditions for employees, less stress, more to catch, and then this one doesn't even have a description yet. Again, this is an early access game right now, guys, so... Uh, so it's not fully complete or anywhere near that. I think I'm gonna buy this CCTV. It's only 150 bucks. We are getting a little bit of money now. So I may as well upgrade that to allow for, I'm assuming, two druggies to be in there at once. Alright, well now I think it's just time to speed up time here and, uh, let the money come in. I think we have a good set setting here. Uh, I don't think there's gonna be too many issues aside from junkies trying to attack me and get free product. But as you can see, we are earning... The money that we need to earn 2,000 money, uh, a little bit going away because I gotta pay my employees. But, I think we're doing pretty good here, guys. Like, I still have a lot of questions about this game, but it's coming together. It's just more of the moving of the drugs that confuses me a little bit. And the fact that I can't zoom in is really freaking annoying, and I'm assuming it's annoying for you guys too, because you kinda gotta squint. Regardless though, very fun little strategy game, so I'm having fun doing it, and it looks like we're gonna hit 2,000 here. There we go, level complete, took me 28 days. I sold 55 shots and I killed 8 people. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do to run a drug empire, what can I say? Alright, let's go back to the menu, um, I just wanna see how many more there are. Okay, so we got Heist, Prison Break, and Gangs after this, so we are still learning the game really here, guys. We're only on kind of a tutorial. Let me know if you guys like this, though. It's totally up to you guys if you want to see some more of this. I personally love any sort of weird-ass indie strategy game, but I don't know how you guys are going to take to it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Once again, it was Basement. If you do want to know anything about it, links will be in the description of this video. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.